Welcome back to Drive 615. My name is Byron. This is the Nissan Z Proto and you join me at the Nissan North American headquarters. A lot of you guys saw the video where I spotted this out on the road on the way to the car show and we've got it here today so we can get up close and personal with it. We're going to take a look at the exterior. We'll hop inside, take a look at some of the interior features. Now we can't take this one out for a drive yet, but as soon as that's available, you know that we will. So I really appreciate, again, all the love and support on the previous videos. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so starting right out front. Take a look here. Absolutely love these headlamps. There's such intricacy and detail, you know, when you get really up close and take a look at it. And of course, you know, Back here looks great as well, but when you're really up, you know, up in the, the grill, so to speak, and of course, speaking of grill, take a look at this. As you can see here, there's just a lot of little detail, four rectangles in each column and six rows all the way across. You've got carbon fiber on this front splitter. And this is a very 240Z reminiscent hood you see you got the hood bulge here now we're going to pull it out in the sunlight here after i do the walk around and you'll be able to see hopefully that because in the shadows you can't necessarily see it but you'll see this crease starting right here and that's running all the way down here and then that kind of v's out making that that bulge right there on the hood as we come around we'll take a look at these wheels i think these look really you know this this spec as it sits Again, this is a Z Proto, so this is a you know prototype vehicle. But the way that this spec is set up, it looks great with the color match brake calipers with the Z logo on there. I think that is even the Nissan center cap. Looks really crisp and clean. Now we do have tire stickers on this model. And just look at the fitment. I mean, the fitment of it's great. It just looks really you know, sporty and aggressive, just sitting still. So we'll come down through here, work our way up. I like the blacked out mirror housing, blacked out pillars through there. Two-tone in nature. When you get up close and look at it, you know, seeing it in person is one thing. And unfortunately you guys watching on camera right now, can't see it in person yet, but I'm trying to do the best I can to depict it. But you see all these different body lines, you know, like this one shooting back to the door handle as you come down here, where it kind of dips in through there. This carbon fiber portion there kind of fills the void to continue this body line back. So come up through here, you've got a, what they call a katana sword strip to kind of break up the two-tone nature. Continue down through here. I love this Z badging on the C pillar there. And really just kind of ties in this vehicle in different components. And again, this rear fitment is, this is, looks really stanced already. I mean, you could just buy this car, and not modify it at all. Oh, wonderful. Get a great view of the tail lamps here. A lot of carryover, you see what was in the front grill kind of is mimicked back here. And they were saying that this is a lot like the tail lamps on the 300ZX. Take a look here. It's really crisp and clean badge that mimics that of the center caps on the wheel. Come up here. We've got the Fair Lady Z badging kind of a little easter egg here on the z proto another little easter egg is going to be here in the back glass which is very tinted right now you can see it says since 1969 and then it's got a dash with no end date you know to kind of uh depict that z is still alive and well again i love these tail lamps again just Looking at it from here, I think this would look really cool at night, you know, coming up behind this at night or it coming towards you. Got a full carbon diffuser back through here. 
dual exhaust. We'll let you take a listen to that. This is pretty cool seeing it up close. Now I love this Z license plate. Obviously again, this is Z Pro not, you know, you're not driving this on the road. Uh, whenever you get to your home state, you'll have to put your regular license plate on, but look how good that looks just with no plate. It doesn't break up the lines or anything. It just really looks cool. Uh, unfortunately though, you'll have to put your home license plate on it. Some may look better than others. And we'll take a look up here. Third brake light is housed up in this little kind of overhang right above the back glass. I'll let you guys get a look from this angle as well. We'll take a look from the profile too, of course. I think it's got a great shape to it. You know, I really like the overall you know, layout and feel and the different carryover from previous generations all kind of, you know, culminated into one. So that's a nice overview of the exterior. Let's go ahead and hop inside, take a look at the inside. Then we'll pull it out in the sunlight so you can really see this exterior color pop. All right, so we've got the Z Proto opened up for you now. We're going to take a detailed overview of the interior before we get it pulled out in the sunlight. And again, this is the prototype model. So anything I point out, you know, may or may not make it to the final production. But we'll take a look through here. We got some faux suede through the door, contrasting stitching on that upper portion through there. Right here, window and mirror adjustments. A little bit of a cubby down here. Got a molded portion for a bottle or something like that. There's a good up close view of that carbon fiber as you're stepping in. You got a Z badge through there and another Z tag on the seat through there and I love the contrasting stitching the faux suede inserts and the gradient it comes all the way down through the seat but it doesn't continue all the way in it kind of you know expands out here for this bit of the leather portion so it's just really really cool to see all the different you know components coming together and of course we're actually going to go ahead and Step right in. Now I'm six foot five inches tall, as a lot of you guys know, so we'll see exactly how much headroom and leg room I have. And so far, you know, I got a couple inches, which is actually amazing considering, you know, how this vehicle uh, looks as far as, you know, from the exterior, it seems like it's kind of a small car, but when you get inside, you know, you're actually sitting pretty. Now, if I put my feet all the way out, Leg room is all right. I'm a little cramped now. I could probably adjust the, the steering wheel, you know, but again, this is the prototype model, so I'm not really messing with anything in here. And of course, this is everyone's favorite right there. This is going to be offered in a manual three pedal club. Here you go. So that's uh, really cool as well, in my opinion. If we take a look up through here, we've got our nine inch center display screen with some buttons along through here. Now these aren't actual buttons, they're inset and then kind of illuminated it appears, which I really like that as well. A lot of times people have the screen and then there's hard buttons underneath, but I like the fact that they're kind of inset on that portion through there. And of course, up here we've got our three meters, which is very, very cool as well. And those are kind of illuminated and they've got the, the suede overhang on them as well. In addition to the meter through here, it's got the hood on it and that's got stitching and that suede type material as well so again it's just a nice blend of every little thing kind of all comes together and, and and ties really seamlessly and here's a great look at the steering wheel got kind of your, maybe your multimedia adjustments here and then your cruise control and phone settings over through here and you got the z badge right there in the center again that's very crisp and clean as is the badge in the front badge in the rear center caps of the wheels again there's a lot of continuity in this vehicle and speaking of if you take a look here at these vents for the air that's very similar to the shape of what was in the front and what was in the rear with the tail lights so again a ton of you know seamless continuity in this vehicle 
even the floor mats, look at that. That's kind of uh, interesting as well. We'll take a look here. There's the push to start button. This looks like an S mode button. It looks like maybe some, some charging back through here. And again, I'm saying that this is the proto. So, you know, it's just, it, it remains to be seen. And, uh, you know, we'll continue to update you guys as we get more information and as we get to actually get out and, you know, drive the vehicle as well. Here is what the rear of the vehicle looks like. It looks a lot more spacious once you get on the inside versus when you're looking at it from the outside. It might seem a little compact, but when you're in here, it's kind of like, wow, there's a, 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 lot of, a lot of space back there. Um, now those molded portions on the side come in and that uh, is something to take note of uh, when you're looking as far as you know space goes. But again, uh, it, the final version remains to be seen, as I've said. And take a look at this. This is very, very cool. Some Easter eggs they pointed out for me. Look at the mileage down there at 1969. Look at the miles still empty, 370. Obviously, Inception, 370Z, right? And then there's another one they told me. Let's see where it's at. Uh, what is, uh, what's the third Easter egg? Oh, the time. Yes, 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 the time. Uh, 240 right there, which is kind of cool. So this is uh, set up again for like a show car, right? So uh, again, we got those three little Easter eggs of you know 240Z, 370Z, and then 1969. But this just kind of gives you an idea of what the actual you know meter is going to look like. 12.3 inches, fully digital. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, and you're just going to feel really, you know, driver focused and kind of almost you know like you're in a video game or something like you're racing, looking down, seeing this and just the little color pops, at least on this, uh, you know, display screen as it sits right now, is just very, very interesting. So that is, you know, an overview of the interior. We got some more gauges through here for your climate control and whatnot. But let's go ahead and pull it out in the sunlight so you can see it, you know, in some different angles there and maybe cut some different body lines and different, you know, uh, design cues that were intended with this vehicle. And we'll take one more look here. Here's the speaker system. And again, just really, really cool seeing it up close and personal and being in it. And uh, you know, I've gotten uh, actually comfortable. When I first sat in, my legs were a little bit cramped, but as I you know, kind of settled into it and kind of adjusted and put my feet out, I've, I've really become comfortable. And at six foot five, that's very promising for anyone shorter than me, you should be very, very comfortable. So let's go ahead and pull it out in the sunlight. All right, so he's gonna move it for us and Get it pulled out in the sunlight but we'll get him rolling over there while we can you guys already saw it moving on the road and pulling into the car show but it doesn't hurt to uh see it in a different light i tried to be quiet so you guys could hear uh some exhaust potentially kind of cool looking at it like in a real world setting, like driving down your driveway or you know, leaving the uh, office, so to speak. Which, you know, speaking of, we kind of are, uh, kind of are leaving the office, so to speak. Oh, he's too fast for me. I can't, uh, I can't keep up. Let's get it turned around for us so we can get the best lighting possible and look at that does that diffuser really pops now that it's in the sunlight man that carbon's popping on the diffuser for sure oh no doubt dude that looks awesome you really got it uh really on display with that one and again here's a another good look at it you guys saw it kind of in the shadows so to speak not necessarily even in the shadows this is kind of not perfectly in the sunlight but there you go, there's the hood bulge that I was referring to earlier that I said you may not be able to see. You can see it perfectly here where the body crease comes up and then splits out. Again, that's very reminiscent of the 240Z, which is really, really cool to see. And again, just take a look at it. Comment down below, what's your favorite angle of this car? You like it from the front profile or rear? Honestly, my favorite might be this front kind of quarter angle here. Catch a little bit of the front, a little bit of the side, a little bit of the back. I think that's my uh, preference. But again, just take a look at how it pops. And take a look at the lights too. You can still see they're kind of illuminated, but it uh, 
pops as well. And I can't get over that. That's a lot of uh, carbon fiber down there on the rear diffuser. Let's take one more look from the front. Looking back. Here's a good side. Fully lit profile side. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And again, I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride and along for the journey. And as soon as this vehicle is available to drive, hopefully we will uh, be up on the list to uh, drive and share that experience with you guys. Because I know you guys love to see, you know, the emotions and reactions that come along with driving vehicles like this. So thanks again, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. A little bit of bonus footage for you here. We're gonna get it rolling out. See you around, man. And into the shadows. She goes, it's goodbye to the Z. Proto for now, more to come soon. Stay tuned.